How's it going guys? It's Darren with muzzleloaders.com. We are at the Italian Firearms Group and we are looking at some Pedersoli muzzleloaders. And we have Justin Dodd with us here today. And uh, we are gonna be talking about the brown best and just some of the things, features, but also some of the history that goes in behind it. So if you guys aren't familiar with any of the brown best history, stay tuned, we're gonna be talking about that. So Justin, what are we looking at here? Well, this is one of Pedersoli's mainline firearms, silver line gun called uh, obviously the brown bass. Um, the brown bass is historically significant to the United States in a couple of a couple of ways. The, the most uh, obvious one is during the Revolutionary War. This would have been the firearm uh, that was that was used against us as we were fighting for our freedom. So the British troops would have been armed with guns similar to this. Um, this particular model, 75 caliber, uh, uses the same technology as far as the uh, uh, the original guns were concerned. As far as the uh, the way that the the way that the brass inlets into the gun, the way that the fore end or uh, the uh, butt plates and fore ends, all those, every one of those uh, lines and um, inlets is done using an original gun that's been sourced from uh, from a known uh, uh, from a known supplier. Mm -hmm. So uh, when anything that Pedersoli makes uh, before it goes into production, they have an original that they use to uh, to go through and actually confirm that all the cartouches all of the different areas on the gun when we put it into production in the hands of the shooter, it's as accurate a reproduction of the firearm as can be uh, using today's modern metallurgy and, and safety techniques. Mm -hmm. So with this particular model, um, you're looking at a gun that, that is kind of set up um, more as a, I think it's a, the verbiage I think is a type three or a third change where this model would have had uh, some evolutionary changes from the guns that uh, originally would have hit the United States. So mm -hmm. for us in Texas, the, the Brown Best actually has some a little bit even more significance because uh, during the Battle of uh, Texas Independence and uh, the, the Alamo, this is the type of rifle that would have been used by the Mexican soldiers uh, against the uh, against the Texan guys that were defending the, the those Alamo, uh, Alamo and different areas like that. So um, definitely a product of the, the British Crown. You can see that uh, um, has all the different uh, ties back to the, the royalty and um, Queen Elizabeth at the time, all that kind of stuff. So mm. very, uh, very interesting product for sure. Absolutely. And I think one thing that I especially, you know, want to highlight in videos with Petter Soli is, I mean, you can't really tell in a video, but just the, the quality of the components, everything is just extremely crisp and clean because like Justin was saying, everything's handmade um, from an original. And so there's no rush. Everything is uh, exactly, you know, there's lots of time and effort put into not just the components, but the patina on the stock, the, inle the inletting, all that kind of stuff is just top notch stuff with the Pedersoli. Yeah. So these guys are very popular in, um, in the movie industry. Mm -hmm. Anytime you see a Civil War era movie or a uh, uh, the Revenant is a big one for this particular style gun. Mm. Uh, pretty much every gun in the Revenant was produced by Pedersoli, imported by the Italian Farms Group. Okay. So proof houses or um, prop houses in particular very, very much have a uh, high supply of these, and um, they um, they use them because they're safe, and they use them because they're they're exact replicas of the originals for sure. So yeah, um, definitely it, steel is in the white, so you have to care for it like a like an original too, if you don't pay attention to her, she'll start showing some corrosion. So mm -hmm. uh, always keep these guns in a dry place, oil them after you use them and and uh, watch all the, the small parts to make sure you've got all that fouling and stuff away from that gun. Yeah. But uh, overall, the, we sell the, uh, the bayonet uh, slings and all the other accoutrements that go with the gun to make it fully kitted out. So awesome. Sounds good. Well, I appreciate it, Justin. Yes, sir. Thanks for uh, chatting with us today. And if you guys have any questions on Petter Soli or any of the other stuff on our website, give us a call or drop it in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer your questions, and we'll see you in the next video.